in time. But honestly, I think we're going to get right ahead and go into this match right here because we are going to see the matchup that we're most expecting. Rob versus the Yoshi, the Yosher. And I'm going to see Yoshi is a really cute character. Got the purple Tims on, got everything. This, this dinosaur got yep. ice. I, I want to point out that was a two hit combo for 62%. Yep. <laughs> Gotta love Yoshi down air. I mean, that is also something where, like, okay, yeah, the chase down. But um, another thing that makes this matchup kind of decent for Yoshi, Yoshi doesn't worry about down tilt as much as other characters would. He loves being in close range, but also he th likes jumping in close range. So Rob will oftentimes, like, down tilt, and Yoshi will just, like, be above it. Absolutely, but we're definitely seeing a little bit of a situation where Dill is having such a hard Ooh. time and gonna die to that upper right here. Only 70% on the board. This is a really nice game to start but, off with right here. Yeah, honestly, Suarez's punish game is just so good right now. That's what it comes down to. Like, this game started off with a 50% combo, and from there, he just kept optimizing every single little hit he would get. Okay, but Dill starting to come alive just a little bit here. Ooh, Absolutely. yeah. Back. Definitely really nice and try to go for something right there, but Dill just narrowly avoiding a lot of what Suarez is definitely doing right now. Still trying to do a little bit of something and trying to kill. Not going to get anything entirely here, but that and arm rotor. Yeah, Yoshi's double jump armor is so annoying for Rob to deal with. The arm rotor, one of the best like edge guarding tools just because of how long lasting and powerful it is. Does it mean Jack oh. against Yoshi's double jump armor? <laughs> is, you're gonna see an edge guard here. Absolutely not. Not gonna get anything off of this. And I feel like Dill is definitely trying to go a little bit too hard off stage without actually having a precise, like you know, idea of how you know Suarez really wants to come back to stage. I feel like she needs to be a little bit more careful about how she does a lot of this ledge trapping and edge guarding situation because well, Yoshi's one of the hardest characters to ledge trap because of how obnoxious that egg can be. Putting yes. out a hitbox from across the like way off <laughs> next to the blast zone you can throw an egg and it'll the opponent has to respect it while they're on ledge. 206%. This is a thing like Yoshi can play so evasively against Rob. Finally getting that grab and up throw. Yep, still finally managing to take that stock. But if Suarez is living to 200 every single time that's uh, that's kind of unwinnable, honestly. Just a little bit. I mean, a tiny little, little bit. But we are definitely seeing Dill trying to put on a little bit more damage. Very nice, getting that dash attack into forward air, and a really nice percent. Only 36 percent on the board right here. But Dill is definitely trying to fight for this game, He's trying to make it as even as possible, and not getting too much off of that shield pressure right there. This is definitely looking really scary right now. A 96% on Dill. This is the sort of position where they're... Oh, what is Yoshi going to be oh, cute, uh, looking for? Up tilt into up air will be really good right about now. Okay. Now it might just be back air. Just raw hits from back air will probably finish it. Or forward air. Managing to... Interesting choice to go for the robo beam right there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, move is kind of slow on startup. It is like kind of a projectile like that. So Suarez just intercepting and almost dying to that up air, but... Without any rage on Dill, that's not finishing the stock yet. Absolutely. I really feel like Dill definitely needs to be a little bit more careful. Mm. But speaking of being careful, oh. you have to be careful because you could have died right there and you're definitely not. Yeah, that, once again, no rage. That Roto Arm definitely would have killed with any amount of rage on Dill. But as it stands, 150, 156, that should be dead. Yeah, okay, good. No! Ooh, what? Very nice DI right there. And Dill is looking a little bit stressed because she cannot take this stock. And that's exactly what she needs right here. But that up throw is going to do it but for sure. Living to almost 200 again. Mm. And But here's the thing, because when it comes to a lot of characters, if I know anything, it's that you have to make sure that your neutral, your advantage is that much better than your opponent. And it's not looking like that right now for Dill. Dill is having such a hard time just keeping up and doing as much damage as possible, especially since Rob doesn't have like the best, you know, damage output when it comes to somebody who can really avoid a lot of what you can do. Ooh, at the same time, <laughs> you know, I was saying how, oh, if, you know, your opponent's at 
200% every single game, it's unwinnable. I'm now actually questioning that. Dillage is, <laughs> well, no, because Dillage is playing extremely patiently and carefully, and yes, not getting huge kills that are going to be killing super early. Like, yeah, Yoshi just double jumping out of that. Hilarious. Hilarious. Um, but I think that if Dill manages to get another 70% and then the stock... Like that. Okay, just well, that's yeah, just going to take it. Yeah. yeah. That game fault was so much in Suarez's favor for a massive stretch of it. But in the end, Dill cleaning up her play. And I feel like what even went differently there? Just wasn't getting hit by Yoshi's shenanigans, honestly. Just I, the evasion finally clicked in. I'm going to be honest. I think it was definitely that first stock. We definitely saw that first stock being a little bit of an issue for Dill. And I feel like Dill kind of woke up and was like, okay, I remember how to play this matchup. Because, honestly, she definitely had a really good advantage at that last moment there. And that's exactly what she needed to be able to take that first game. And we're definitely going to be seeing a small battlefield pick. It's definitely looking like a little bit of an issue maybe for Suarez. If Suarez doesn't know how to close out these games because, honestly, that was the main issue. I feel like that definitely if Suarez would have been a little bit more patient and a little bit more like wary about what was actually going on right in that second, it could have been ended a little bit differently on Suarez's end. Well, going on to game two, it's going to be on small battlefield here. Now, looking for those rising rising down airs. For Yoshi, it's a really good move if you land it. And against Rob specifically, Rob doesn't necessarily like to go for rising aerials. A lot of the time, Rob will jump and want to do some kind of landing neutral air, just like that. And that's when those down airs can pay off massively. Absolutely. And right now, we're seeing little bit of a, That was a very nice wait right there on Dill's end. And Dill trying to put on a little bit more damage. Definitely looking like she's struggling just a little bit right here. Being able to get out of that combo. Suarez is definitely trying to fight to keep this lead going for sure. Ooh, and oh. very nice cross up right there. This is honestly very similar to game one. Like, Suarez got that exact same combo. Uh, last time around it actually killed, but... Oh, and you saw that? That was a really nice reverse grab right there. Ooh, Zell is definitely trying to say something about this game right here. And wow, catching that jump with it, but not really doing anything because of the armor. And Ooh. and the egg connecting for the kill. Wow, what a snipe from Suarez. I think that's actually a thing. I've been seeing a lot of like Yoshis do that. And I definitely see Suarez do it a lot of the time. It's actually a thing, but like... Depending on it, like if you can air dodge or whatnot out of it. I it, it it shouldn't be a true combo, but a lot of people are not want don't want to air dodge at that point because Yoshi can also frame trap with it. Absolutely. Ooh, trying to go for that um, wave bounce right there. Ooh, not gonna get too much off of it, but we're still seeing Dill not in the lead right now, having Suarez at 142%, and this damage is piling up faster and faster every day as we're looking and we're seeing that downer taking out that stock absolutely very nice on Dill's end Ooh. okay big head slam there but doesn't actually get the spike and that means that Dill is going to continue living and I like this also Dill just goes all the way from one side of the stage all the way to the other in order to land doesn't want to mess around with the hunt, landing on top of Yoshi Absolutely, but I really feel like Dill needs to be, again, a little bit careful about how she's actually getting hit by a lot of these eggs. This is actually what's doing a lot of damage. I mean, we do understand it is, you know, Yoshi. Yoshi can hit a lot of these eggs, especially on a big boy like Rob. But it's definitely going to be what Dill needs to do to be able to actually live, and especially how scary it must be to be getting hit by all of these eggs in the air like that. And all of that stalling, but it gets Dill back down to the ground. 162, though. You know, it is possible for Yoshi to struggle to kill sometimes as well. And it looks like that's maybe what's happening right here. Going for some type of edge guard. I love the stalling, spending so much time down there. Suarez doesn't know what the timing is going to be. Down throw into up tilt. He jumps and it actually breaks his armor, meaning that the up tilt cannot link. But this is so dangerous. Both of them deep in the red right here. Neutral is not enough to kill. Anything that Suarez does to Dill will probably do the deed, but he needs to actually find it. 
Absolutely. I really love how well Dilla is paying right here, making sure that she's able to stall so that she can be able to try and take this stock as best as possible because it's exactly what she needs to get her head right back in the game. Ooh, and taking out that armor right here and just making it so hard for Suarez to actually be oh. able to do anything and getting off that stock at 163%. But still is trying to do something almost at 200%. Oh. This and is really scary for Suarez right now because he's on the verge of losing that game, oh. but not without that back air to up air confirm. Both at 0% right now. Yeah, and so Suarez with the gyro in hand. Let's see what he... Oh, cute. Yeah, let's, he, knows how to, he knows how to do these Z drop stuff. And I love this, actually. The fact that I... The amount of mileage that Suarez has... Oh, there's so much to deconstruct that I can't even do it. The fact that Dill just went for the jump air dodge, knowing that Suarez has been going for that full hop down air when she's been in the corner, brilliant. And at the same time, Suarez's use of that uh, of that gyro was something I've never seen him do before, and that was also absolutely stellar. The quality of players right here, you just see it on display, and I am loving the competition. Absolutely, this is still so good and still so even, and Dill is just having so much fun trying to be able to control this. <gasps> this up air is looking a little bit scary, but still trying to put a lot of space between the two and getting that nice Nair out of shield on Suarez's end. <gasps> okay, another Ooh. egg linking, but Suarez does not actually commit to it. That could have landed, connected into a forward air if he was ready. But as it stands, 124%. Nice up air out of shield. Lots of big, juicy hits, but nothing that's actually been able to close this game out just yet. Ooh, and all these hitboxes. This corner pressure is looking so scary, but that down B is going to be able to take that game 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and that down B, the nice thing about Yoshi down B is it stalls him just barely. If we can get a replay on this, I'm pretty sure that uh, Dill went to meet him in a specific spot. Yeah, like that back air, that is the back air of if Yoshi was continuing to drift down. Like if we can, uh, not sure if we have time, but... Like... Okay, so right here. If Yoshi was not going to down B, where would he end up? Exactly right there. But instead, because he chooses to go for that stall, this back air that, uh, that Dill was going to throw out would have connected exactly right there. But nope. Instead, it crushes her skull. So that oh. was great, great well, awareness. This is a robot, so where's where's the skull in the robot? You think robots don't have skulls? Have you seen Terminator? He's guys nothing but skulls. Wah! <laughs> the real back. Oh, and the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but what stage are we going to? Is the question. I'm guessing PS2. PS2 looks like it's the answer, I'm pretty sure. I mean, game one was PS2, right? Game one was PS2, and then game two... No, we're going to Kalos. I definitely... Interesting. Uh, higher ceiling, I think, is maybe one of the ideas behind it. Well, also, not just the higher ceiling, but we also have a little bit of a situation where it makes it a little bit easier on the sides for Dilda to actually kill and actually live a little bit longer. The ceilings may be a little bit higher, but there's not really too many places to be able to set up those higher kill combos. So what I'm thinking is that this actually makes it a little bit easier for Dill to kill in a lot of situations. And stay alive. I guess that's more important. Yeah, also it's it's pretty FD-esque, which Robs tend to like FD. It means the opponents are going to have an even harder time getting in. At the same time, though, Yoshi is pretty good at getting in regardless. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and once he does get in, look at all of this damage, 69%. And it keeps racking up. I'm loving the use of Egglay. Egglay, of course, is Yoshi's kind of only disjoint. Because that tongue does not have a hitbox. And wow! What about that, what about that forehead? What about that big old nose? That was... Okay, so he went for that down B right there. If he held down, he would have died. <laughs> This counter pick is not looking too great on Dill's end. Suarez is definitely trying to say a little bit of something about this. 
but Dill is continuing to make sure that she's mounting on the damage. Not gonna get that side B right there, but still trying to do a little bit of something, putting on a little bit more damage, and very nice jump to get out of that arm, or that um, egg lay right there. Okay. This is definitely where we're seeing a little bit of an issue for Dill killing right here, doing 72%. And again, right now, we're feeling like we're missing that, you know, again, that evasion right there coming in from Dill. Are we going to see that up air? We are, and that's going to kill at 159%. And I think this might be the thing that Dill is having. Ooh, Dill is having a little bit of a better time because I feel like her issue is a little bit more of just when it comes to like the neutral game. I feel like the neutral game might be a little bit harder for her, but being able to keep out Suarez is nothing for her right now. Yeah, okay, the chase down up there. No, it's not actually gonna find that final. Ooh, final blow. Suarez, I don't know if he has a jump. Yeah, he's forced to air dodge to the ground. And I like that. One thing about also Rob's down tilt, less meaningful in this matchup because Yoshi can just keep holding shield. He's not gonna get a shield poke. Ooh, oh. very nice forwarder right there. Yeah, that's important. When you are edge guarding Yoshi, it is imperative that you basically know where he's going to throw out that egg. Because it is always a read. He is going to predict where you are going to be moving to approach him off stage. And if he guesses wrong, you can go out there and just hit him with a forward air. Hit him with a nice juicy move that's gonna at certain percents can kill ridiculously early. Ooh, and gonna get that jump, but not gonna do too much off of it yet. Ooh, we're still at a very Ooh. even game right now. If you know anything, it's that Dill can avoid things for so long. The back air. Now you see, Suarez wants that back air. 168, I, though. Absolutely. I really love the way that Dill just actually chooses sometimes to kind of just run in and approach a lot of what you know Suarez has instead of being a little bit more reserved. But that forward is going to be stuffed out by that back air, taking out that stock Ooh. and getting the reflect off of that. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I love it. Do you saw the drift um, from Suarez? Yoshi, of course, has great air drift, but he was able to air dodge to avoid the hit and then air drift back to avoid landing on top of the gyro. That's going to do it, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Making this game dead even, almost 15% to zero. I feel like Dill is just having a little bit of a hard time, and she just needs to be able to have that evasion on hand a little bit more. Ooh, and very oh, nice yeah. grabbing that gyro right there, being very aware of how she's actually moving, but oh, getting this... Dodge. Sorry, spot dodge, rather. Very rare that Yoshi goes for that dash grab, but... The fact that Dill scattered it out, just knew that Yoshi was going to throw out just a singular hitbox of some kind. The gyro separating the two of them. Suarez respecting it, not wanting to approach when he does not feel comfortable doing so. And when he is comfortable, you see he goes in. He does massive, massive work. A single opening leads to so much, but the same goes for Dill. Oh, I was really hoping for that roll in. I mean, so a lot of times people will roll in after missing that tech because, for one, they might want to try and get away from the ledge. Uh, mm -hmm. But also, sometimes you're just expecting to get hit for missing the tech and you want to start DI'ing in already. Mm -hmm. uh, so, nice awareness from Dill not to fall for that common option. Ew, oh, Ooh. I can't believe the forward here didn't connect. I love all the stalling from Dill because it's exactly what she needs right now. And she definitely just needs one option. That up air is not going to be able to do it yet. But she still has to be super scared. And this, this down throw is... It depends on the mash. Ooh, this is Somehow. looking so scary. And she has to be so careful because she's not going to get stuffed out by a back air or an up air. <gasps> and she's now oh. back off stage. Are we going to see a little bit of a stall? And but get the forward air. air. Ooh, this is so scary. This is so scary. The back air from Yoshi. You see, just throwing out continuously, but Dill throwing out that robo laser in order to hit from across the stage. Yeah, well, Suarez has had to retreat to these platforms time and again. Now with Dill at the ledge, let's see what can happen. Both these guys so There's 53 seconds on the clock. I didn't even think. I didn't even realize. No! You gotta end it like that. No. Oh my god, that was so unfortunate on Suarez's end. Sting with the last 
50 seconds on the board. And so to explain why that happened is a little bit tricky because when you down beam with Yoshi, you can hold down to go through platforms. But if you hold down for too long, as we just saw, mm -hmm. you don't grab the ledge. So you, there's actually a very thin window where you have to basically hold down enough to go through, but then let go to grab the ledge. And so you just miss the timing on that. And yeah, both of them reeling back. Um, that was almost a timeout, genuinely. Like, not necessarily, I don't think the game would have ended. Like, I don't think we would have hit the timer and hit zero. But the thing is that when people realize there's only 30 seconds left on the clock, totally changes the way they play. Yes. And that's, we would have absolutely seen that if that game had continued without Suarez accidentally SDing. Ooh, this is definitely really scary. And now Suarez really has to think about what's his next option going to be with B, Battlefield and Hollow Bastion being the bans. Honestly, I would really expect Battlefield not to be one of those options that Dill bans, especially considering how she's actually allowed to live for so much longer. Yoshi's combos on Battlefield are ridiculous. That is why Battlefield is banned. Having especially a big body like Rob hitting up in the air and then being able to reset on platforms, continuing to go up and up and up. Mm. Not only that, but like the fact that if you're trapped on the top platform, one thing that Yoshi can do is rising down air, and if it shield pokes, the last hit can kill you mm. off the top. So shockingly early. So wow. yeah, that top platform is honestly a, a, a definitely a reason for why uh, that stage would be banned in the matchup. Also, can we talk about this banger of a song adding to so much depth to this game right now? I definitely love it for sure, especially since we're already seeing a little bit of damage putting on from Suarez 74%. Oh, God, I love that. Going for like that mid to late hit of neutral air in order to extend the combo even further, but a good air dodge from Dill gets out of the uh, possibly taking even more. But 80 to 91, 91%, this is not nothing. Okay. I'm liking the gyro play from both of them. And that one was like, there was that one game where Yoshi grabbed the gyro and then just did some amazing stuff with it. I would like to see a little bit more of that, mainly because it's just cool. <laughs> Not necessarily because it's optimal. Ooh, very nice Whoa. attack rate right there, and that's actually going to seal out the stock. Very good on Suarez's end. And I think that was maybe some questionable DI, but down smash, very quick smash attack, hard to react to. Ooh, we're already seeing so much more combos, and I feel like this is definitely so much harder for Dill to be able to follow off off of. Then again, we've seen Dill come back already in this set from harder positions than this. Absolutely, and speaking of harder positions, remember that first game where we were seeing a lot of Dill just being so evasive. I definitely think that's exactly where we need to end up right now because that up smash is going to be able to take that first dock, and we're at 75%. I definitely know Dill is going to be able to do a little bit of something to be able to take this game right now because that's exactly what she needs. A lot of <sighs> damage putting, being put on to Suarez. Oh, good up tilt. Catching the landing leads to all of this damage, but now Suarez has to be kill-minded. Has to start thinking about what is that final hit going to be. And that shield's getting mighty tiny. Okay. Ooh, and getting in the trip right there, allowing Dill to throw Suarez back off stage, but not doing too much, especially since they're still in a little bit of a scrap position and very nice narrow right there. This is definitely really scary, and Dill continuously throwing Suarez right back off stage, and it's so scary trying to go for that up tilt, but gonna trade with that back air, and this is so, so scary right now for Dill, and just narrowly avoiding that up air. Oh my god, this is so scary on Dill's end. 153%, but the back air of his... Oh man, Rob's back air. Just that much more range, able, able, able to beat out the Yoshi bear. And, oh, that should be, good. yeah, good conversion on that egg. We've actually seen a few times Suarez get the egg hit, but doesn't want to commit to the actual, uh, the, the finishing hit afterwards. So right there, knowing that he needed the kill, recognize I'm just going to go for it. Pays off. Right now, even stocks, but percent slight advantage for Suarez. But considering the fact that in that last stock, he was struggling to find a kill at 160, doesn't matter as much as you think it would. Definitely so scary, and this is exactly where we need to see Dill pull out all these stops, be able to take out the damage, Ooh. and that nice jab lock. 
gaining so much damage for Suarez, looking so scary right now for Dill, because Dill can be ended in a matter of seconds if she is not careful right now. She does have a little bit of really, uh, wiggle room. Oh, and le okay. We always forget that that's just the thing that can happen against Rob, is people just blowing up. Uh, Never, never gonna have to worry about that. Suarez getting the forward air spike while, you know, we had been saying, oh, that's such good stalling, you know, but he recognized sort of the patterns behind it. And the second that she popped her little head past the ledge, the noggin comes down like a hammer, bringing us to game five. The nose destroying everything <laughs> in its path. Uh. Congestion season, we don't know her. <laughs> Ooh. The noggin floggin. Yep. The, the noggin floggin. Floggin the noggin. That was still really good again. But we are going to see FD and Town and City banned right here. Yes, now. this is going to be Dill's counter pick. I'm. I know we saw Kalos before. I feel like. I don't know, it was so close. It was such a close game that I don't necessarily. Even then, like with it being a close game, if you remember. PS2 and Kalos were the both the stages that Dill were able to reach back into, like, you know, the depths of, like, her, you know, kind of end. But honestly, we are going to see PS, I mean, Kalos, sorry, going back to that stage. And I feel like now is where we need to see Dill again pulling out all these stops, making sure that she's being able to have a little bit better of a neutral against Suarez because that's the only thing really stopping her from actually doing a yeah. lot. Now, one thing about this stage, actually, that is a worth noting. So, Earlier on, we saw that Suarez was getting a lot of these. He would go for full hop down air while Dill was in the corner. And it would lead to a ton of damage if Dill ever decided to jump. But because of those side platforms, Suarez can't go for that. If he goes for rising down air, he lands on the platform and can't actually continue to hit. So it might actually mean that Dill is getting out of the... Uh getting away from the ledge a little bit more easily. That might be part of the thought process behind it, but I mean, I also think it's a perfectly fine stage, and so far things are getting very even as a start. As, okay, no, they were even before Suarez took a point-blank robo-beam and did like 30. Ooh, but this is definitely so good, and just avoiding all of these options, and that was such a good <gasps> dash back to be able to get that, but very good on Suarez being able to get out of that up air conversion right there and just trading across the board. Dill is putting on so much damage and making it so hard for Suarez to do anything and that nair taking air. Oh my god. Bad DI on it, but that's because he was not expecting to get hit by that neutral air right out of the egg. Oh. Okay, that's 84%. It's not... It's honestly a pretty safe range to be at if you're Dill. There isn't much that Yoshi could do that can kill you outright here. Even like landing forward or up smash, which I don't even know if we connect at this exact range, is not going to do it. And I then, just love how aggressive Dill is being right now. Like, you've seen so many times where she just goes for the right option. And this is so scary again because she can again die, but she's still putting on so much damage right now. She just goes in at the right time knowing that she can hit Suarez. And it's just so scary because Suarez sometimes just doesn't even know what to do about it. Okay, another one of those up throws. It's solid damage, but not really enough to... Okay, there it is. Nice job. Up tilt to up air. Very consistent kill confirmed from Yoshi. Uh, but already haven't taken almost 80 before finally managing to take Dill out once. But this is Yoshi. 80% combos are not something he is a stranger to dishing out. So Dill has to be mindful. Has to be... Ooh. Oh, Gyro! That could have actually been a really dangerous spot for Dill. Being trapped, like holding a shield with a Yoshi, like putting pressure on you, it's a nightmare situation. And so that extra hitbox helping out. They're dead even percents. Oh, yeah. No, they're. Oh, my God, you're right. Down to the decimal point. <laughs> oh, wow. That was very cool. But we're definitely seeing this go very, very wrong. But. Oh, and Ooh. the jump. Man, Yoshi's double jump is just something else in this matchup. Absolutely. I wonder if she's going to go straight for the up smash, noticing if Suarez is going to be able to, you know, go a little bit on the deep end with that Bye, recovery, me. but... Oh, and very nice getting that up air 
ending that stock, and this is where Dill needs to pull out all the stocks again, being able to get some damage because we do not want to see a situation where Suarez actually does the thing that Dill has been doing this entire time, which is making a comeback on Dill in a very nice way, getting that ooh, very nice call out on that air dodge right there, and just doing so much damage, 66%. This is so good on Dill. Oh, Dill those are some creamy close. eggs but not actually able to find any type of finisher at the end of that barrage. Means that now 100% that armor is broken. He had no jump for just an instant. Even if Suarez manages to take this stock right here, this is gonna be a mountain for him to climb regardless. This game is looking more like it's more and more firmly in Dill's favor. Finally managing to do it, 112. This is not the end of the line for Suarez by any means, but he needs to play so, so carefully for the entire rest of this game. Oh, what a forward air. It's just too quick to finally, oh, no, hold on. Oh. That was so close. That could have ended so horribly for Dill, but getting that air, Jumped out and that's so scary. That could have been so wrong, but narrowly Going avoiding down. that grab and that could have ended so terribly for Suarez right there. He but. has Gyro in hand. I don't know if he wants it right now. Up air, up throw it on the platform. Not enough to do it. He tosses that gyro away. We'll be coming down in just a moment. Over there. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Still not enough to kill off. So scary right now for Dill, but also so scary for Suarez because he's at 195%. That's and is this gonna do it. That has to do it. 200%. Uh, yeah. Yes, taking out that game and taking the whole set. Very nice 3 2 on Dill. I am so happy to see this. Not because I love Dill, but because that was a really good game. And because oh, I told yeah. you, Dill takes these sets. Wait, what? What? What happened? Uh, Did I hear somebody say that Rob loses to Yoshi? Nah, it's, I mean, okay, I do want to point out, you saw my thought process behind him <laughs> talking about that. The amount of times that Yoshi would just jump away from Rob up there, just be like, Nyoki. Nyoki. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I mean, things could have definitely, this whole set could have panned out differently, depending on that game three specifically when Suarez really unfortunately SD'd at the very end after a very intense showdown and that was just a solid fist bump yeah absolutely but here's there. the thing too because again dill adapted mid set to like a lot of all these situations where she instead of just staying in one position she actually went in a lot of the time and that led for so much advantage control and just doing so much damage to Suarez, which is what was actually needed in a lot of these situations. Yeah, and also just doing a good job avoiding the kill moves. Yes. You know? Yes. Still, I felt like game one, dying at like 100 <laughs> or whatever it was, you know? But by the end, just playing around, making sure that even if she was going to get hit by an egg, she was not in a position where that egg was going to convert into an up air. Uh, I mean, granted, you know, Suarez was still getting those egg up airs, but not nearly as consistently as I've seen him do against other players and other ROPs especially. Well, so, absolutely. That's yep. a great way to end off that set, but we are going to get some more.